how can you guys start making money on Instagram? You know, in my last video, if you guys watched it, at the end, I told you I'm gonna share with you guys some tips on how you can start making money online. So my personal bread and butter and where I made my first million dollars was through Instagram. So the first thing you have to know is you have to learn how to build a following as well. If you can't even build a following, then you know you might make a million dollars, but it's not gonna happen in two years how it did you know for me. It actually took about one year. But if you wanna not get a big following, you wanna just do like, you know, the little half work here, half work there, you might make a easy hundred K, two hundred K. But if you want to make seven figures and you have to learn how to build a following, you have to learn how to monetize it. So the first thing you have to do is learn how to actually pick a niche. So you guys can't be posting about every single thing you see out there. It's, you know, shiny object syndrome. You see someone crushing it on Instagram over here. You post about that. You want to post about this. You want to post about everything you see people making money with. But what you don't realize is that they chose a niche and that's why they're making so much money. So you guys have to choose a niche, whether it's entrepreneurship or fitness or maybe you wanna just be an influencer, you wanna travel the world, you know, choose your niche and go all in on that. So my personal niche is obviously entrepreneurship. So I'm posting everything business related, you know, finance related, mindset here and there. If you wanna be a successful entrepreneur, you have to have the right mindset. So you guys gotta choose a niche and make sure you go all in with the niche. You know, my last video, I told you guys something about commitment. So once you find your niche, the niche that you're passionate about, you have a purpose about, go all in on that and don't get distracted. If you see someone doing well somewhere else, then just realize that they chose a niche and they went all in and they committed to it. That's why they're doing so well. So the first thing you gotta do, choose a niche. And the second thing you have to do, you have to start posting frequently. So you have to realize, you know, you wanna choose and go into a new niche, there's already people who are successful in that niche as well. So, you know, don't take that as like a discouragement. What you can do is you can literally just get like 10 people who are already successful in the niche, see what they're doing, how are they successful, how are they making money, and just remix it for yourself. You know, I'm not a big person and like a big, you know, I'm not too confident in saying you should copy them to a T, but at least, you know, just have some awareness and realize that you don't have to create the wheel completely. You can just look at what everyone's doing, figure out, you know, what's a little bit he's doing here, she's doing there, you know, and take all that together and then make your own way of how you want to do it too. So, you know, you have to be frequent in your posting because all these people who are frequent, they have all the attention. So whatever niche you're gonna get into, your goal should be to get top of mind awareness in that niche. You know, for my niche, entrepreneurship and credit and finance, when people think credit, the first person they're gonna think of is gonna be me because they see me posting about credit frequently. I'm always posting tips, giving people free value, showing them how they can get a high credit score, showing them how they can get 100K in funding, and you know, how they can turn credit, turn it into cash, and make money with it. So you have to focus on frequency and post a lot of value to your audience. You know, don't just post a bunch of random stuff about your niche where it's like completely useless and you're not gonna be able to post you know, valuable stuff to them because if it's not valuable to them, then how are they ever going to get value out of what you're posting? So you know, frequency is a huge thing. I recommend to post five to 10 times a day at minimum because your audience, they wanna see you know, your post. If you're posting super valuable posts, they're gonna be happy and then over time, they're gonna consider you to be the expert in that niche. So you have to focus on finding a niche, focus on frequency and you have to focus on quality. Like you can see the place that I live here, the pool is all lit up jacuzzi's on you know it's pretty late here at night but that big screen over there is typically on all throughout the day up until around 10 p.m you know they have a pool table over there a bowling alley they have a gym here with all these lights on you know, they have a bunch of lights up here there's a bar over there you can get coffee you can get meal preps you can do a whole bunch of stuff right they're capturing attention and it's quality i'm not at some place where like the pool tables are chipped and they're broken and i can't even play because they're gonna chip my fingers they're nice pool tables the bowling alley the balls they're not all tore up they're not broken they're not cracked there's quality in you know, what they're offering me here. So you have to have quality in your posts. You know, invest into you know, a videographer. My video right now is being filmed. I'm paying somebody to film a quality video. So don't be cheap on quality. You know, your audience can definitely notice that. And if you're cheap on the quality, then people who are not cheap are gonna literally take away all the attention from you. You're just gonna be left at the bottom of the barrel. So you wanna have quality in everything that you're doing. And this is my last thing, guys. You have to capture people's attention no matter what. Ah! Oh. Get people's attention no matter what.